KFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading up 16. The Nasdaq's down three. S&P's a flat gold contract down $19.10, trading out at 1783. We have silver down 18 cents, $23.93. Announce light sweet crude up 59 cents, $83.39 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year flat 130.23, the 30 year up 30 tick, at 13 ticks at 160.29. King dollar, this was quite a move, folks. King dollar was up almost a full penny, it was up over 900 ticks. Right now it's up 778 ticks, it's at 94.123. I mean, it just took off like a rocket ship out here. Uh, Euro is at 115, the yen is at 113.92, and the British pound is trading at 136 to 1 US dollar. We get open, we take a look at the SPY. What you're going to see out here, folks, is that we are at all time highs. We're going to close out the month at all time highs, the week at all time highs, all of the above, and yes, volume is contracting once again. Uh, bottom line, the SPY is down uh, like 12 cents, but. Uh, that's still at all-time highs. You're at 450.18. Uh, NDX 100, same type of setup. Now, what's interesting about the NDX, I'll bring up the SPY, too. What's interesting about the NDX is this. The three Qs, if you're into candlestick charting, the three Qs have a last engulfing on the daily, on the weekly, and on the monthly. And what a last engulfing is, folks, okay, it looks very bullish, but yet it's bearish. It's a bearish signal. It, it's, it's when you open lower, you close at the highs, and you, that's after a full run higher. And if it's a last engulfing um, uh, bottom line on the way down, it's the same thing on the way down, meaning you go down first and then bottom line is that you would go higher and then hit lower. I'll, I'll put this up right now so you can see on the monthly how this is set up. So we'll see where this whole thing uh, shakes out. But the market certainly uh, shook off just everything out here. Uh, Gold. Gold contract. Uh, this is pretty amazing, man. The gold contract has actually held up in an amazing way when you see that the dollar almost went up a full point. Uh, we did 241,000 contracts. You're down $19.80, and you're going into 300,000 contracts. And the bottom line, you've only done 241, and you haven't broken the swing. So bottom line is saying gold still wants a higher price. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.